So reversal trading can be extremely tricky. And the reason is because it's almost impossible to pick the very bottom of a market when it's trending down, almost impossible to pick the very top of a market if it's trending up or the price, the exact price that it's going to turn around. But there are a few different ways. There are actually three techniques that I use every time I place a reversal trade that dramatically increase my chances of winning that trade and that dramatically increase my chances of being correct about pinpointing bottoms and tops for reversal trades. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing those three techniques with you right after the intro and disclaimer. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you're subscribed here to the channel. Reversal trading's tricky. You're gonna want these in your back pocket for the next time you try to pick a bottom or pick a top in order to trade a reversal. Again, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you click that like button, follow us on the socials, links are in the description. Free trainings are in the description as well. We can offer more to you through those free trainings because we have a little bit longer than we do here on these YouTube videos. Check all that out while the intro and disclaimer roll, and I will see you directly after. Welcome back traders. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's topic, three techniques that can allow you to get a better advantage on your reversal trading opportunities, picking tops and bottoms. Before we do that, I'm actually gonna share with you guys a trade we took last week in the EAP training program on the Canada Yen, which ended up playing out really nicely this week. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you that it's not in hindsight. I'm not just gonna point out a bunch of trades that have already happened. We actually use, this, use these three techniques all the time whenever we're doing reversal trades. And I wanna show you that now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the email that I sent all the traders that are involved in the EAP training program last week on the Canada Yen. And here's that email. So as you can see, if you look in the top left-hand corner, this email was sent May 15th at 10.59 p.m. So 10.59 p.m., good thing about swing trading, you don't necessarily have to be in front of your computer all the time. I don't know where you're at, but I'm settled in Eastern time here in Atlanta. So doing that 10.59 p.m., I was just up randomly looking at charts and was able to place a trade like this based on that. But as you can see on the Canada Yen here, we have email analysis. This email analysis was about a potential double bottom trade, a potential... This email analysis was about a potential trading opportunity on the Canada Yen that we just looked at on the chart. And we're going to go back over to the chart now after seeing this email. You can see the entry for us was 81.40. Let's go back over to the chart. And here back over on the chart, you can see that that 81.40, in fact, is where our entry lies. So with that being the case, we're going to go ahead and start getting into the analysis behind this trade, how we use the three techniques that I'm going to share with you today in order to make this a profitable trading opportunity. And later on in the video, we're going to get into a lot more detailed information about this, but let's go ahead and jump in right now. So in this specific case, if you haven't guessed it by now, we used a very simple price action pattern that you more than likely have heard of hundreds of times at this point in your trading career if you've been around trading for any amount of time. That price action pattern is simply a double bottom. So we use the double bottom, but of course we have different uh, conditions for double bottoms and very specific entry rules for our double bottoms that I'm not going to share here. Come up with your own rules, do your own thing when it comes to entries. But in this case, we did use a form of a double bottom in order to enter this trade. Now, a lot of traders, a lot, a lot of teachers and gurus on YouTube and other places will tell you, oh, just buy when you see a double bottom for a reversal and sell when you see a double top. I promise you. If you buy every double bottom you see, you're gonna lose money. If you sell every double top you see, you're gonna lose money. That's why it's so important to have these other three techniques that I'm gonna teach you in this video in order to improve your accuracy. Now, does it mean that using these three techniques is gonna make your reversal trades 100% accurate? No, you're never going to be 100% accurate. You're still going to lose trades every now and again, but what it's going to do is increase your chances and put the odds in your favor. And you're not gonna have to take my word for it because throughout this video, towards the end, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually back test this, build a strategy around it, and ultimately build a full trading plan around reversal trading just like this. So let's go ahead and dive into one of those three techniques. The first technique we're gonna talk about, we've actually discussed here on the channel multiple times before, but if you are new, it is something I call a 3X tested level of structure. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're on a four hour chart. This is my primary trading time frame. What I'd like to do is go up one time frame from that. For me, that means a daily chart. Now, at this daily chart, what I'm gonna do is scroll the chart back a good ways. 
and I'm gonna look and see if there is a level in the market, and if I take this off, you'll see what I'm saying at the time of considering this trading opportunity, we see that the market has been pushing down, and what I'm looking for is I'm scrolling my chart out, and I'm gonna ask myself, okay, where is the next place this market could possibly stop? From this downtrend, we can see right here on the daily chart. We can see this market's heading down. That's not a secret, but where are we likely to stop and move up where we likely to stop and possibly reverse on that lower time frame so this adds a, a ton of accuracy to a reversal trade when you can do something like this because you can take a horizontal line place it where you think this market could possibly stop for, for the reversal on a lower time frame and in our case like i just discussed the first of three techniques is a 3x tested level of structure right here we have one test of support two and three now I oftentimes have questions about this specific type of trading and those questions consist of numerous things one of the most popular though is how far back do I go for me I go back between two and three years in this case I have a horizontal line here this black line that you see on this chart this black line represents two years back so going back about two years I want to see if there's a level that's been tested multiple times I want to see the market heading down to that level I'm gonna place me a zone or a um, horizontal line at that level and then at that level is where i'm going to look for potential entries that's the first technique the first technique is do not trade reversals just out in the middle of nowhere only trade them whenever you have a higher time frame structure that lines up with a lower time frame reversal so that's technique number one technique number two make sure it's a reversal what do i mean by that well in order for this market to have a reversal what has to happen first it has to be trending in a certain direction first. You can't have a reversal if the market hasn't been trending down. The market's just in a period of consolidation or has been stagnant for a while. There's no way for it to reverse. And what you'll notice, even if we scroll the chart back, is when we get these big moves up and down is after the market has been trending for a certain amount of time, right? We wanna see a trending market that's been trending for a while before we see that reversal. So technique number two is make sure the market has been trending beforehand before you look for the reversal. Now, I am someone that in my trading style, I have to have concrete rules for nearly every situation. This is just the way that best fits me for my trading style. I don't want any subjectivity in my trading whatsoever. So for me, a way I like to use to um, objectively define a market that was previously in trend is something that you probably have never heard of and this is something I use quite often when building strategies something I use quite often just in my trading in general what I look for with this uh, blue line you see on the chart is the 50 EMA so with the 50 exponential moving average on the screen what I'm gonna look for to define a market as trending is at least 50 bars that have closed that have not touched that have closed below and not touched that 50 EMA. So if I pull over to right here, and I'll bring on my drawing tool, you can see right here, that tells you the amount of bars. All you have to do is click the roller tool that's to the left. You can't see that on my screen because I have my screen share software cutting that off right now, but it's very simple to find. There's a roller tool on the left of the TradingView platform. Find that roller tool, click a, the first candle that closes below and does not touch the 50 EMA. After you click that candle, scroll over to the right, and if you have 50 bars that have not touched the 50 EMA and that have all closed below it, then you can classify this as being in a trend. So at this point, what do we have? We have our first rule met. We have our level pointed out that's been tested more than two times, more than three times on a daily chart or higher time frame. We now have 50 bars below the 50 EMA that haven't touched it, classifying this as being in a downtrend for sure, completely objective rules, no way to get it wrong. So now that we have a downtrend, we have our level pointed out, the third and final technique is have a very solid set in stone entry at your zone. And that is it. That is three techniques that can create a very accurate strategy and a very accurate trading plan based around reversals, which is one of the hardest things for any trader to master. Now, if you are enjoying this video, we actually have a free training on reversals that I'm going to list below that has different entry reasons that we use along with other aspects to this that can help increase the accuracy. If you want to get your hands on that for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link in the description labeled free reversal training. Now back to this, what are we going to use as the entry? And I suggest that you start with different types of double tops, double bottoms, different types of head and shoulders patterns, 
price action patterns in general in these zones tend to work really well. You've probably tried price action patterns before and by themselves, sometimes they're not extremely accurate. Sometimes every head and shoulders pattern, you know, doesn't create a profitable reversal trade. But it, when you add these other two conditions, making sure that you're at a previously tested multiple times level of structure from a higher time frame, not trading this in the middle of nowhere, making sure that you've had at least 50 bars close and not touch below the 50 EMA, identifying it as being actually in a downtrend previously, and then waiting on, let's say, that double bottom, and then waiting on a head and shoulders pattern. Add different entries, make them as concrete as possible, as objective as possible, and of course, again, link in the description to find out some of the entries that we've used in the past and that we use now on reversal trading along with uh, head and shoulders patterns and, and double tops and double bottoms, things like that. But what I'm gonna do now, now that you have the three techniques uh, in your back pocket, you are ready to start increasing the accuracy of your trading plan when it comes to reversals. This is not the end of the video because this is not where you need to stop learning. So most people aren't gonna give you actionable steps towards getting a, a trading plan together based around these rules. I'm going to. I wanna go above and beyond with the value I give you and I try to do that each and every week. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't yet. But in this case, what we wanna do now that you have these rules, don't take my word for this. I'd love it that you know more than 99% of you probably have a lot of trust in me if you've seen a lot of our videos because you know I actually trade. You can tell by the skills and the techniques that I offer to you along with all the things that I show you when it comes to the trading accounts that we have and the, the trades that we've taken, emails I've sent out. You can tell that I actually trade. Now, when it comes to actually trading, or trusting me, sorry, I got a little off topic. When it comes to trusting me, that's great, but don't take my word for this. What you're gonna need to do is take the rules that we've just discussed, that you've just learned, take all of those rules out in historical data and backtest them on different currency pairs because although this may work great for some currency pairs, it may not work quite as well for others. So you need to make sure that you are trading this on the currency pairs it works best on. Alongside that, when you do your back testing, which I'm about to show you exactly how to do using these three techniques, when you do that back testing, you're going to get a representation of what this strategy, what this trading plan could possibly do performance wise in the future. What that is going to tell you is your possible drawdown to help you create an optimal risk management plan. It's going to tell you what your possible return on investment could be, your ROI. And it's going to tell you how you could take separate targets, right? It's going to tell you whether you need to be going, doing a one to one target or maybe a two to one target on every trade or maybe using structure. There are so many different things that, that back testing is going to help you understand that it, doing it is not an option. You have to. You must do it if you expect to ever be successful in a trading business, in a trading career. So make sure to do that. And what we're going to do right now is discuss how to do that back testing. So what you'll do in this specific case on the daily chart, remember, we're looking for levels of structure that have been tested three times at least. In order to do the back testing on this, what you would have to do is do a horizontal, you don't have to do a horizontal line, but you can uh, scroll out your chart to about two years, which is what we have now. We'll do this. So scroll out your chart to two years back and do not move it from this at all. Then scroll over. And when you scroll over, you can start to find, for instance, right here. So if, we, if we're right here and what we're testing, remember we're never looking at the right edge of the screen if we're testing. If we're testing this and we're sitting here looking at this chart, what we can say is, okay, well the level of structure that has been tested three times or more as resistance and support on this market at this point right here for our back testing is right there at 88.65. Now what you would do is scroll over to that 88.65. You would then make a zone at that 88.65 wherever the market came into it as and you would change the color of that to red or at least I do because I know that's going to be a possible shorting opportunity. Now what I'm going to do is drop down to my four hour chart and, I'm, and this is a, it's a tedious process, guys. That's just how it works. It's a very tedious process. I'm gonna drop down to a four hour chart now. And as though I cannot see future price action, I'm gonna wait here to see if I get a possible entry. Right there's one top, right there is a double top. And that would be a possible entry. Okay, so what, I, what did I see there? Boom, we came up, we made one top, we come down. 
we created a second top right here. If you were just using double tops, you would have entered on the close of that green candle. Stop loss would have been above your zone. You would have an opportunity to make about a 2.5 to a 3 to 1 risk reward out of this specific trade based on what I just taught you. So what you do is that exact process. You go back as far as you would like. I normally try to do at least five years on this, and five years is as far as you can go back on trading view on a four-hour chart. Go back five years and test every time this happened. Every time the market was trending up or trending down, hit a level like this and put in some type of entry pattern that you choose to use. Test that. Make sure it's accurate, profitable. When you're comfortable, you can use it in your trading. Now, the other aspect of this, was this market trending? Of course it was. If we're looking here, you can see that this market was above the 50 day moving average for or 50 period moving average excuse me for well over 50 bars right there's 50 bars and i didn't even have to go back so that's well over 50 bars that's the second part uh the second technique that we're using has been valid now the third thing we're going to use is a double top for this scenario and that was valid as well so this is how you go through the back testing process of these three techniques in order to create Again, you're going to use that that data, the backtesting data you get to create a risk management plan, to create a full trading plan around this with when it comes to stops and targets and everything else that you are going to have to have in a trading plan in order to actually be a successful trader. So that has been three techniques that I use every single time I place a reversal trade. As much as you may trust me, don't take my word for that. Make sure to backtest it yourself. It, it will be highly beneficial to you and is not an option. You must do that if you ever expect to find success in trading. I hope this video has been helpful and valuable to you. We do have that free reversal trading listed below in the description. Make sure to check that out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you're subscribed. And finally, last but not least, if you are ready to take your trading to the next level, we do have the EAP training program. We have some spots available. We just had some recent graduates. I'll post their testimonials on the screen. Actually, we had some recent graduates out of that. This program has been running now for over three years, and you can check our YouTube channel. We don't have one negative comment. This program comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, a full course that talks you or walks you step by step through the process of building a trading plan around the strategies, entries, techniques that I use on a daily basis in the Forex market to make profit. If you're interested in that, read some of the testimonials on the screen. Make sure to learn more about it by clicking the link in the description labeled EAP Training Program. I hope to see you guys over there on that video or on the free training. Until then, and until the next video, I hope you have a great rest of your trading week, a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys very soon.